Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Crassburg once again. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hope you're having a great week so far. We are back here at the market square. We started last week doing some more building, some more work and all that jazz. Uh, I'm really liking what we kind of built today. I think it turned out pretty good, but down below, let me know what you think of today's uh, buildings and stuff like that uh, and also don't forget to leave a like while you're at it it's the best way of showing your support to my channel today we are building three more houses here um, which is a, a cheese shop a spice shop and a perfume shop I think uh, there are some scientific uh, medieval names for that but you know me uh, I don't know <laughs> I, I, I don't know all them names uh, but I think it turned out great, I really like what we have here uh, and it's been fun just working on this for this week here. I've uh, been pretty busy with other stuff but I think I managed to squeeze in enough for a good video here. Something that I want to talk a little bit about is uh, Planet Zoo. I am doing a new series together with a friend, uh, Beyond Drew. Uh, you might have seen him if you're into Planet Zoo. But what I want you guys to go over there and check out his newest video which should be uh, by me and him a collaboration where we build a suit together uh, if not it's gonna come out pretty soon uh, where we build uh, a, a brand new suit together which is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to doing a collab with another creator like that so hopefully you guys will check that out and give him a subscription and let him know that you came from me uh, so we can kind of look at that next week or on in a two weeks time, I don't know, uh, I will do a video on my channel, but not that for another kind of video. We're in Crasper today. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm doing a new kind of audio thing today. So hopefully the, the sound of my voice is a little better than usual. Something I'm testing out because I always try and strive to make my content better. So uh, hopefully this is, um, is working out. Um, but yeah guys, I really like the style we're going for here. I think the, the more of a gothic, uh, more luxurious, wealthy vibe really fits my building style. And it allows me to be so much more um, interesting when it comes to the interiors as well. And the ex exteriors also are more unique and much more fun to kind of work with. So I'm very happy with being able to work with this uh, but guys let me finish off this uh, and I'll be with you in a first person point of view all right guys we are here now and uh, looking at this beautiful start of a town square it is really taking shape and I'm digging it so far uh, it's gonna just be so much fun when all of this is completely built around here I want to put in a little fountain a couple of market stalls uh, and like temporary shops and stuff like that and I, I think it's gonna be uh, one of the prettier parts of the city because it's really open and it kind of allows you to see all of these bigger buildings and I think it's going to be just so interesting when you kind of get through here from um, from this side here and into here and stuff like that and it's gonna open up as a very nice open area something that I didn't show you guys in the time lapse but I, I did work on uh, which I, I just kind of forgot to make a time lapse of it, so that's on my part. But um, it's this old city wall. Uh, I, I talked about this, and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Where um, this city has grown over time, and this wall right here is one of the oldest walls of Crasper. It is kind of falling apart a little bit before the new one was kind of built around it. Uh, so uh, they kind of use this and here it's just falling apart and I just love the look of it. Um, and yeah, especially here where it's open, it's just completely gone. And this is what leads into here. So uh, I'm going to be working on this, but it's not meant as a defensive kind of wall right now. It's more of a, just a wall to make the city interesting. And uh, the outer wall is the defense. Uh, I know we could have done like a defensive kind of wall here, but for the fun of it, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, I might though make it... Um, uh, like fortified and and worked on on these outer edges here but we do have a pretty steep cliff which I'm gonna actually build a little bit higher on this end 
uh, but I do want to have a functioning wall around this place as well so we'll see how uh, we get uh, that going but yeah for the buildings for today we do have these three ones which uh, are kind of different all of them we have one big yellow one it's like Tudor kind of building then we have a very narrow uh, colorful one and a white one which is in like in the middle but yeah let's check out this one shall we this is the perfume shop I do believe yeah um, again I really like the way I'm able to do interiors on these kind of buildings because there's so much space for that so very happy with um, this kind of interior here for the perfume shop you know we don't have perfume props but uh, just adding like cans and jars and bottles and stuff like that really makes this work I think and then we go through here uh, we have a little kitchen area uh, this looks very plain right now I might have to double check this and maybe make it a little bit better but um, this then leads down to the, the basement which uh, we have some storage uh, but we also have a bath because if you want to have a bath uh, especially in medieval times you don't want to have that on like an upper floor because of leakage and the weight of the tub itself uh, but this then leads out to a little platform in the back here we're gonna have a street uh, and that's gonna connect up with a little road here uh, and then there's gonna be more houses on the shore here uh, with uh, a nice hopefully nice little harbor thing right here and then some houses built in the cliffside here and it's gonna from here hopefully create a super cool look because you're gonna have like these layers of buildings uh, upwards so yeah something I'm looking forward to but yeah we got that building there uh, let's move up and around shall we we can go up a little bit here uh, and um, and see what we have here so uh, we have a nice little hallway here which opens up to like a, a fireplace area to you know to just make basically a fireplace area I do believe a lot of medieval houses had that kind of room it's just there to, to have a fireplace and warm yourself and sit there uh, it's not the dining room it's not a like living room thing it's just the fireplace room um, someone of you guys pointed out that we need more fireplaces so I've been take making sure that I do put in more fireplaces in my builds so um, hopefully all of that works so um, yeah thank you so much guys for feedback uh, it is really really appreciated and it's really helping me out when I'm building these kind of buildings here um, it's just a great way of um, yeah helping me out reaching my goals uh, here we have another fireplace again uh, you saw another bedroom just before uh, but I feel like just moving as I talk a little bit you can pause the video if you need to count the blocks uh, another cool fireplace design here uh, for the master bedroom uh, which is pretty big they do have a personal altar here where they would maybe pray and uh, this is the god of wisdom I, I use this as a symbol of him uh, around my world so so they could sit here and just kind of pray to the god of wisdom which would probably be very helpful for the merchants to make good deals and stuff uh, and then we have a little like washing room a bathroom thing uh, adjacent to to the bedroom here so yeah then we're going to close the door and move upwards where we have uh, a little bedroom again more bedrooms going to be a lot of those in today's episode uh, and another one now this is actually a storage area yeah so this is like just storage and stuff like that for all kind of things you know uh, but then this one is a little bedroom as well uh, getting the job done and all of that stuff so pretty nice I like it uh, and some sitting areas and stuff like that to to just utilize the space but then we will run it down and move our way over to the next house uh, where's the stair here it is um, move down here out through the building and into the next one which is this yellow base with the red tutor on the top and I gotta say the colors are really cool I love the way um, it just kind of breaks up the flatness of some of these houses here 
but yeah um, very happy with uh, the depth of the builds as well I do use the two thick wall technique where you have an outer wall and then you have an inner wall which allows for these kind of windows um, and details and stuff and you don't see them on the inside which uh, is a cool idea uh, this is some spices and stuff like that it's a very spicy shop um, and again uh, just some cool decoration here here you can see the inside wall is completely different from the outside and that is because I have two thick walls which is something you should try to do especially for more wealthy houses because then you would have like uh, wallpaper and stuff on the inside uh, but yeah we have little spices you can buy here uh, and stuff like that really like the way all of this turned out here uh, we can go in here which is just a very narrow hallway which leads up uh, but in here we have uh, the spice makery thing where you would uh, make the spices uh, this is supposed to be some kind of grinder to grind peppers and stuff like that um, and yeah just uh, a little workshop for the spice maker but if you go down here uh, we get a little basement where he stores some wine for himself uh, and again also an exit to this side and as you obviously can see, it's kind of some elevation differences here. And that is kind of a cool idea, I think. So, um, yeah, it just makes the buildings a little bit more interesting and allows for some cooler interiors. But then we will go up here and into the kitchen area, which is very long and narrow. This is the narrow building, keep in mind. So the interiors kind of is affected by that. But uh, we have a big kitchen and a little area to eat and stuff like that. Um, getting the job done here. And then we got another one of these fireplace rooms. Uh, again, I feel like those really make a building pop and make a building feel wealthy. When you, you have a big enough house to just have a building for uh, just like uh, relaxing, enjoying the fire and stuff like that. Uh, we'll move further up into the top part where we have some sitting areas But we also have the master bedroom, which is pretty big nice and green wallpapers here with a fireplace again to heat up the bedroom uh, With some pretty nice views over the market here uh, And then there's adjacent little uh, uh, washing room stuff bathhouse not a bathhouse outhouse thing so yeah, uh, stuff like that is important for builds. So up here we do have uh, two beds. It's in a like shared bedroom for the kids, uh, but it's plenty of space here. They can relax, play some games and sleep and all of that stuff. So that is kind of nice. Uh, we'll then move down here again, around and around and around uh, and around yeah <laughs> we need to go around again to get all the way down these buildings are massive um and oh yeah also we have this closing thing so only people working here can get through but yeah that's kind of cool i also added a little sign here to kind of let you know that uh, you can buy some herbs and spices here you know you know the drill um let's remove these uh, blocks here and the sign which is for the cheese shop, which is the thing that I just finished, the last thing I will be able to do for today's episode. Uh, and it is a cheese shop, as you can see. A lot of different cheeses in here. Um, and there's even some up here. I uh, really like the depth of this house here. Uh, added a lot of shelves and stuff like that. And basically, it's just the two different cheeses uh, that we have. Let me see here. So there's this cheese, but then there's also this cheese right here uh, and they have like meta metadata meta metadata I don't know uh, so I think it's yeah there's some kind of ID and there is a colon and there's another ID and if you change that ID on the cut cheese uh, you get like the different ones that I have uh, around here the smaller ones so just something if you didn't know um, you, you can get some cool cheese designs by changing the metadata of those but yeah cool little shop here 
Uh, in the back we have a pretty uh, nice kitchen area for just preparing some food and stuff for the family and an area to sit and stuff like that. Uh, there's actually a little balcony here on the side uh, which uh, hopefully will have some nice views over the marina here. That's going to be for the fishermen and like the local and smaller boats as they're going to be inside this harbor here. Uh, so I don't want to build the buildings outside on the front here too tall, but we'll see how it all works. Hopefully we can see the, the water from here, but a uh, little thing. Uh, we can go up there, but before we do that, I want to go down into the basement to the cellars and, and just see the, the cheese storage. So there's some cheese and spices and just things stored down here. Uh, it's always or mostly a better... Hello? Server is restarting. All right. Uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, <laughs> we're back and the restart is over and it's time to to move on. And that was the cellar which we saw. Uh, if we go up here and through the staircase, uh, we get to the upper floor, uh, a big open living room area. I uh, like the beam here, it kind of breaks the line of sight a little bit. And then we just have a fireplace to heat this area up. Uh, and some sitting areas and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, kind of cool. Like the, the vibe it has. It has uh, more of a not so dark and medieval kind of vibe. But uh, I like that kind of. Uh, in here we do have the master bedroom. Which is very, very nice. With uh, some curtains, blue and red walls. And a blue ceiling like that. Um, yeah. Very lush, very colorful. Which uh, is what I imagine, you know, the, um, the wealthy people <laughs> would like. Uh, and then we move around here and go up where we have a little bit of stuff happening. We do have two bedrooms. Uh, here we have one bedroom right here uh, with a desk and a beautiful view over the market square. Uh, and, and then we have another bedroom in on this side here. A uh, little fireplace here to heat this area up, uh, but it, it's a little bit smaller, but it gets the job done uh, with a little bit of uh, an area to, to do your thing in here as well. So so it kind of has everything and it's um, uh, one of my favorite interiors on a building so far. Really like the way it turned out. Um, but yeah guys, get on the server and check it out for yourself if you're interested in, on how I kind of did some of this stuff. Because uh, uh, there's a lot of small blocks here and there that you might want to come over and count and check and stuff like that. But anyway guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's, whoops. <laughs> it's been Vigoman. And I'm out. <laughs>